Oh no, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. So Andy. Or tell you a minute. Yeah. Oh, there's Andy. There's Andy. And, and Steve, you want to come over here with Andy? How you doing? Oh. Oh, is this Alan? All right. Steve and Alan. This is Steve and Alan Hunt, their great-grandma, great-great-grandma was Andrew Porter's daughter, but what, what's really neat, Andy Moore's great-great-grandpa, Levi Porter, I think, put the two of them together. So I want to go through just a few details, because it's, it's kind of a neat love story. We don't, we don't have all the details, but we've got some of them. So that this first image up here, is um, Levi Porter's Civil War Discharge. And I think Levi carried this on his, you know, his pocket or whatever, and he turned it in when he filed for a pension in the 1917 or something like that. But anyway, it gives some details on it. This was after his first one year of service in the Civil War, and I've got a copy of that I'll give you guys. Take with me. But, um, So what, what's interesting, Levi was in the Civil War, and Stephen Allen's great-great-grandpa, Isaac Hunt, was in the Civil War. Now, a detail about Isaac Hunt, they were both Confederate. Um, what's the next image there? There's, there's Levi. And, okay, so Levi and uh, Isaac Hunt were both in the Civil War. They were both Confederate. And they were both captured. How you doing? Levi spent six months as a POW. And um, Steve and Alan, do you guys remember how long how long your great grandpa was a POW? Hey, well, that's great. He was uh, he was captured with uh, along with uh, Hunt Morgan. Uh, in Ohio when they were on the way up there. So, I guess he was a uh, PLW for a year or so. I'm not sure exactly what Yeah. So, so Isaac was a PLW. Isaac done. Now, before Isaac was captured, have you guys heard the story about Olive Hill was burned by John Hunt Morgan? Their great great grandpa did it. <laughs> Isaac Hunt was with them, in, I think it was 1862, when they burned 40 houses in Hollow Hill. So he, right here in Hollow Hill. So these people are all in Hollow Hill, so don't turn your back. <laughs> so, yeah, that's so, um, and he was young, he went in, how old was he when he went in the army? He was just under 15. Just under 15 when he went in. Okay, so he, he rode with John Hunt Morgan. They burned all of his, did some other things. He was captured. Levi Porter was captured. And um, Levi Porter spent six months as a, a POW. And um, let's see, Levi was captured here at Winchester, Virginia. My coffee's getting cold. And he was taken to Harper's Ferry down to Point Lookout, Maryland, and spent six months there. What's the next image there, Vicki? Maybe go one or two more. Go ahead and do a couple more. Yeah, so there's where Levi Porter spent six months. This is Point Lookout, Maryland. Right up here was the POW camp. Up here, fenced in. They say the water would come in and flood the camp. And, and of course, a lot of guys died there, starved there. There were thousands of men that, that died there. Um, so after six months, Levi Porter was released, and you want to do the next image? <laughs> Thank you. So this is where I think that Levi and Isaac Hunt got together. Right when Levi was released, it was interesting that Isaac Hunt was transferred to the same point lookout, Maryland, and they were released about three days apart. So the only thing that makes sense is that they met 
and then they traveled together back to Levi Porter's home in Grayson County, Virginia. Because five months later, you got another image. Where's Vicky? <laughs> five months. Oh, go ahead and give me another. Those are actually Levi Porter's um, papers where he was released, and then they signed on the papers where they gave him rations. And I assume maybe Isaac Hunt also received rations as they traveled from Richmond, Virginia to Grayson County. And so that, that would have taken them, according to these papers, it would have taken at least four days, maybe a few days longer. Um, what's the next image, Vicki? Oh, here's Isaac Hunt. So we're thinking Levi and Isaac met and they went back to Grayson County. And um, Andy and Carol, they went to Grayson County, what was that, 2010? Yeah. Yeah. And you, you saw the Andrew Porter home there. Yeah. Yes, it was beautiful. So the, the house is still standing, and the next year at the reunion, Andy and Carol, they brought a video where they had taken, they had visited the inside of the house. And that's not, I've seen the outside, but I've never seen the inside. It's, it's a wonderful house. So what's and so here's Isaac. They met. They went back to Grayson County, Virginia. But, oh, and and so yeah. One interesting thing: Isaac is not from around here. He's from Allen County, Kentucky, which is down close to Bowling Green. That'd be the biggest town in that area. So um, what's the next image, Vicky? Ah, okay. This is Andrew's daughter. This is Elizabeth. This is your great great grandmother. This is Andrew Porter's daughter. So Isaac met Elizabeth, and they married there in Grayson County in August of 1865. Oh, there's the, go ahead and zoom in on it, Vicki, there's a couple. This is their marriage record in Grayson County, Virginia. A um, couple interesting details on their marriage record. Right here, it says the place of the marriage was at Colonel Andrew Porter's house. And go down to the bottom, Vicki. This was August of 1865. Go, yeah, go to the very bottom. Let's see. Um, and then, then they call him, the, the, the minister's return says the marriage occurred at Reverend A. Porter's house. So Andrew Porter, they're calling him Reverend in one statement, and up there they're calling him Colonel. So we've learned that he was a colonel in the militia before the Civil War, so it was kind of an honorary title. And, and um, Isaac and Elizabeth were married by E.B. Elliott, it says. That was Andrew Porter's brother-in-law. So that would have been Elizabeth's uncle who performed the wedding. So they're married at the end. Oh, there's the Andrew Porter house back in Grayson County, Virginia. Um, Scott and I went back there years ago and we found that house. Um, the stone was added. What, what do we know about that house? About the stone? Um, the house was built, I think, in 1824. There's still one stone in it that indicates that. But the rest of the stone was added, and of course all the front steel work was added. The whole new foundation was added. When we went in there, um, the daughter of the woman who owns the house, was they were remodeling it, making it into sort of like a second home for them, like a vacation home. But some of the original woodwork was still in there. Um, the, the beams down in the basement were still there. The, yeah, there was some original stuff still there. Not much, but some. So they were married right there at the house, August of 1865. What's next, Vicki? Oh, there is the, that's a really nice picture. Which one of you guys came up with that picture? Steve did? That is a great picture. Tell us about it. I found it in my mother's house about two years ago and had no idea it was there. So, now you guys are both descended from their son Chastain Hunt? Yes. Our, our great-grandfather great was Chastain Hunt, and he's the son of Isaac Newton, my grandson, and I'm the... Well, I am, you're right. 
He's the grandson of I am her, and I am the grandson of Kennecott, both sons of Chastity. Uh, I am her is the baby in the white that is sitting there on the right uh, in Chastity's lap. And then Kenneth Hunt is the young fellow just to the left, or to our left, of Chastain, right there behind uh, Elizabeth. So Chastain is on the far right, your great grandpa. That's correct. Really? Yeah. Yes. The three men in the picture are the three sons, and then the ladies are the three wives of the three sons. Vicki, can you zoom? You want to see um, Elizabeth or the down the left of the baby? Okay. Uh, the, the other left. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, zoom in on Elizabeth again in the middle, Vicky. So, so Lillian, your your great great grandma was her sister, Cena, and we still never found a picture of Cena, but maybe she kind of looks like Elizabeth. And so another. Alan and Steve, another detail that you guys found out, there's a 1909 interview with Isaac Hunt, and, and what did that tell us? Uh, let me see. Um, uh, I have a slow recall here, JC. Um, it said that uh, when Isaac uh, married Elizabeth, that soon after, I think they moved over to Carter County, West Virginia, Kentucky. Okay, okay. And uh, and I guess the whole family probably all came at once. And, uh, and and then after that, Isaac and uh, Elizabeth then went back to Allen County uh, sometime not too long after that. What really struck me about that interview, one detail he said was at first we spent a little time in Ohio, and then Carter County, Kentucky, and then he moved back to Allen County. So what, what that told me was the entire family, all the porters, moved to Ohio for a short time, and then he, before they came here. And, and that, that verified it. I heard that from one of their source years ago, so that, that was me to verify that. But we, we don't have an entire interview, we've only got a paragraph of it, right? That's correct. We don't know, oops, sorry, we don't know, uh, we haven't found the, the original interview yet, but hopefully we will at some point in time. Yeah. We're counting on you guys to find that. <laughs> Um, Andrew Porter had five sons that all moved. Levi Porter was the oldest son. And uh, there was um, five or six daughters that moved with him. Uh, two of those daughters never married, uh, never had children. Four, four of the daughters married and had children. Cena, Cena was one of the daughters. Um, yeah, Cena Brown was one of the daughters. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think that was how many, I think the entire family came together. Uh, now, Steve knows more about this, but one of the porters, I believe, came and lived over. Have you already talked about that? I'd like to talk about that. Okay. Uh, one, of the, one of the brothers, I think, of Elizabeth came and was living with Elizabeth and Isaac down in uh, Allen County for a while. Then moved back up here, back here, and then was, uh, got the line back there. Yeah, he was sad. Yeah, that's, that's a whole, a whole another side story. Um, Andrew Porter's son, Jim Porter, moved down there in, before 1880, um, lived with Elizabeth and Isaac. But the reason he went down there was so interesting. Andrew Porter kicked him out of the house because Jim Porter was a hothead 
and, and they couldn't yeah. get along. And, and he said, get out and never come back. So it's kind of a sad story. So that's why he was down there with his great, great grandma. He met his wife down there. They had the first three of their children down there. And then, then he moved back after his dad died. He didn't move back there until a year after his dad died. So, but they, they said Jim Porter was always a hothead, and that's what led to his premature death, you know, in 1906. He was coming to the guy and hit him with a chair, and the guy turned around and stabbed him. So, there's a lot, a lot of stories that go on with that. Is it, are there any more questions? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, that's another one of her daughters. I, I thought of one of her family was going to be here today. Well, uh, that might be there. it. Some of oh, there, that's Olivefield. There's where Isaac Hunt is born in Olivefield. Where they move yeah. to, I don't know. Actually, yeah. this is a, a sketch of Olivefield being burned. And uh, one of my third grade grandpas, he burned his house here in Olivefield. <laughs> Steve has agreed to uh, repay the Porter family for that. So <laughs> just talk to him later. <laughs> Thank you. I you know, I think all of Bill was right on the border of the little split between you and the Confederate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there, there's your leader, John Hunt Morgan. That's who Isaac fought with. Um, I think that might be all the videos, Vicki. There's Isaac. 